Okay, people, here we go. Video number two. I had a few interruptions during the recording of video number two, so I had to stop that. Anyway, let's get to, um, besides the resort conversation, which, all right, things happen. Um, let's get to the rise of the resistance. That's all nice and cute and all, but, you know, you got to break your ass just to, to get to the ride and, and people are getting there so early in the morning. I know, it's very exciting. I happen to be a huge Star Wars fan, too. But do I feel the need to do these things? No. I guess, I don't know. As I get older, I learn. I don't have to have everything. I don't have to want everything that everybody else has got. I just, I have to be there. I have to be there. I was there, but I didn't get on the ride. I was nowhere near the ride. We were watching in bed at the resort at 5 o'clock in the morning of the traffic and how they were letting people in at 4 in the morning just to get them up to where the, the queue was, um, the entrance to the queue. We decided to do the boarding pass on our, my Disney Experience app, and we did that. And the next, the next boarding pass, we had number 181. Well, long story short, we were in bed that same night. <laughs> they were only between 91 and 127, and then the ride, you know, the ride has ended for the day. So your boarding pass was no good. So we would have never got on the ride anyway. So we would have wasted time. We left the park way earlier. But we did manage to get some um, um, parting gifts, as you would. Take, you know, taking home gifts. Um, I got this coffee mug. My husband got himself one, the drinking mug, which is what I'm having coffee in now. Okay, wash it out with good hot soapy water. I don't know if it's me, it's not my coffee. There's like a, a taste to it. I think maybe it's the, um, ew. I think maybe it's the uh, cap. I'll have to rewash that again. I know, it, I know damn well it ain't my coffee. So anyway, word of warning, wash it out, very good. The material that they're using for the cup, it's already, it's already scratched. And I took it out of the bag that way. It wasn't that way in the store. But the banging and the clanging, see, like my ring will, will ruin it. The banging and the clanging, because it's that shiny material, I, have to, I saved the better one for my husband. Because he's the one that purchased these, and he treated me to one. But um, it's already scratched, as you can see. And... Um, what they didn't do at the store, this was like a fast thing. You get online, they give you the paper to look and see what you want. Pass holders have their own certain little gifts. I'll get to that in a second. And, um, you know, you get to pick. This, this mug was $24.99. We got some pins also. My husband got this pin, which is cool. Focus, focus. Okay. I like this pin, so my husband got one for me and one for himself. That's it. I'm sorry the video is in reverse because it's my camera phone. It's in reverse. But you get the gist of it. So, and we got those. My husband got the Rise of the Resistance, the wristband, limited edition of 3,000. <laughs> <laughs> limited edition of 3,000. Come on, focus that. Let me see if I can do this. Let me see if I can do this. There we go. It's a nice band. The pass holder one happens to be in black, by the way. Okay. So, like I said, it's in reverse, and I'm sorry. It's my camera phone. Anyhow, so that's it. So my husband just now understood. Come on. My husband now just understood what it is between regular folk and pass holder folk. He goes and sees a shirt for himself, and he goes and he, oh, you know, that's a nice shirt. I, he goes to take it off the rack, and he's looking, he's looking for it. He says, I wonder if they have it in my size. I said, no, 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 no. The sign says pass holder. That's pass holders only. And my husband is like, well, what the f f f f I said, no, 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 that's, you know, that's pass holder stuff. They have their own stuff, and we have our own stuff. But one, the thing is, I know that they pay, you know, pass holder that you pay for your, you know, your membership area, you get in and out of the park, whatever the hell you feel like it. You're entitled to special gifts and 
special things, special events, special discounts. But yet, you know, see, I don't think it's fair that you, you're entitled to all that, but yet still, you, you could still buy all the regular stuff. See, I think pass holders should actually have their own pass holder stuff, and they shouldn't be able to buy, in my world, you shouldn't be able to buy regular stuff, too. Ha! How's that? So, you know what? Regular people, pass holder people. That's what I would do if it was my, my kingdom, my world, my um, Tinkerella's world. That's what we should call it. Okay, but anyhow, we went to Disney Springs. We went to see the Christmas tree trail. Adorable. Adorable. See all the trees, and, you know, they have like a path of all the trees. And then at the end, Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus are there. Here's another catch. It was a 120-minute wait. I, I'm only down there for like three and a half days. I got no time. Ain't nobody got time for that. I got no time to wait. But, you know, we got to move on. So we didn't do that. But this is the Disney Springs tree trail, and it's adorable. They give you certain, you know, certain things to do, events. I know, like I said, the video's backwards. And um, you get a calendar of events, and you get special treats. And here's where you meet Santa and Mrs. Claus. But we didn't get to do that, okay? You get special goodies and special desserts you can buy. Very cute, very cute. Um... And that was it for that one. And then we finally, the reason why we were down there is because my husband wanted to see Christmas and celebrate some Christmas down there. We went to the Very Merry Mickey, Very Merry Christmas Party. And to live through the eyes of other people's pictures and other people's videos and you know it's nice that some of my friends they go live you know they they film it while they're while they're down there and you know you can interact with them and everything and that's what's cool about having internet and it's you know it's the way of the world now um but to actually visit it yourself that's two different things that's a bigger thing that that's that's a big shit right there and um I'm glad we got a chance to do it. My husband says he says we probably will do it again, like maybe two years from now or something. You know, that's not going to be like an every year thing. I know people do that, but for us, it's a little different because we usually go down there in September. We were just down there in September. Then we did this now, and we already have our trip booked for next September. So, but to do this one thing, like a short minication that I like to call it, short minication, and um, you know. I would recommend it if you can do it. So, but like I said, I have a middle ear problem, so it's hard for me to like fly and everything. I've been flying pretty old, you know, pretty good. God bless. I take a Benadryl before I actually get on the plane, not to go to sleep, but it's to clear my sinuses. I have a middle ear condition, which my middle ear is actually clogged. Years ago, when I was about 16 years old, surgery was talked about. I didn't want to go for surgery. I'm now 53 years old. I didn't want it then. I don't want it now. I don't, I don't play with the ears. I'll live with it the way I can. I have my hearing, thank God. But there's always a chance that when I do go on a plane, it was it was said, you could, you, could, you could basically go deaf. Okay. Right now, take that chance. And so far, knock wood, I'm okay. I'm okay with the Benadryl. So that what the Benadryl does is I know it makes you sleepy, but it clears out your sinus passages, your ears. It clears them out. Um, I did have a scare. Going there, it kind of felt like on this ear, which is my, you're right, my left ear, even though this is backwards, my left ear, that um, it feels like somebody turned down the volume on one side. So I was a little bit a little uneven as far as the hearing part. That went away after about 24 hours. Coming back home, I'm, I somehow I was watching Home Alone. We were flying, we fly JetBlue. I was watching Home Alone and I nonchalantly went to sleep and I was out. But I basically heard this ear go completely out and I jumped up. And my husband says, what's wrong? I says, I'm going like this. I says, all right, this ain't a clog thing from the from the plane. This heat just went out. So that was a scary moment for me. It did come back. About an hour later, gradual. I'm still on the flight at this point. An hour later, it started to come back. 
right now I'm okay. But every time I fly, I notice that something, um, I guess, is missing or, you know, it's, it's not the same. So that's what I have to live with. Um, okay, so anyway, we did the very Merry Christmas party. We wanted to see the parade. We wanted to see the fireworks. We got that. I didn't go around to, I wanted to get like the hot chocolate and I wanted to see if I wanted to get a cookie. And, you know, it's kind of hard to do everything in such a short amount of time. I guess people with kids, you know, they have to do that. It's different. But for me and my husband, same thing with the Halloween. I have problems trick-or-treating. I don't come home with any bags of candy. My friends come home, they, they, they take pictures of themselves at the resort with the whole bed full of candy. Oh, look at all the candy I got. Where the hell did you get it from? I, I, to trick or treat, I know, I trick or treated at a few stations and I got like, you know, they see that you're not wearing a special costume. I, I think that's the problem. Or if you don't have a child, you don't get a lot of candy. They put like maybe one of, you know, happy Halloween. They put two things in, in my bag. I wound up with, I think, five pieces of candy. So I really didn't want that problem again, <laughs> but I did want to try the hot chocolate and I wanted a cookie and I wanted like some, but the lines were so long. I know it moves through, you know, kind of good, but we just didn't do it. So, I, you know, maybe next time. I don't, I don't know. Whatever. I'll just swing it. Okay, this video is going into 11 minutes. So we just covered the Rise of the Resistance. I didn't get on it. Bought the merchandise. Got some pins. Okay. Went to the Very Merry Christmas Party. Awesome. Christmas Tree Trail. Awesome. Cute. Adorable. And... There's going to be a part three of this video because um, YouTube only allows me, for some reason, under 15 minutes. And again, YouTube. I have no idea what the hell you're doing to me, but anyway. So, I will talk to you at the next video. Part three is coming up. Stay tuned. Talk to you later.